to another fabulous edition of Urban Green Beef. Today we have a very exciting new um, project to do. We're reviewing two Turkish beehives from the company called Apime. That's A-P-I-M-A-Y-E. You can see their website, apime.com. I was asked to review two of their hives. I just got them in the mail, and I have the Daydont and the Langstroth version of the Turkish beehive. When you think of a beehive, typically you probably think of the Langstroth style hive, uh, maybe top bar, but those are only recently kind of on the scene. And that is, you think of a wooden file cabinet, if you will. Um, each super or part of the file cabinet has hanging files, which are the frames. You have the same idea here, but this is done in plastic, and they look like amazing little clasped together tanks. You'll see what I mean. I started opening this box right here, and here we have a pollen trap, which, if you wanted to think about what it is, it's kind of like a front porch for the beehive. Um, you have the entrance right here, where the bees come in, and they drop off some of the pollen. Typically, with the pollen traps that I've used from, say, Daydont or Brushy Mountain, the bees drop about 50% of the pollen from their pollen baskets or corbiculae. Uh, in this one, I wanted to point out since I am reviewing this at their request, is the size of the hole. Uh, the diameter is very small. Uh, perhaps the bees that these were made for um, are a little bit smaller. Uh, I do know that they were designed with the help of a couple universities and other beekeepers, so maybe the bees in that region are smaller. Maybe I'm crazy, but I don't think so. So we'll see. But what I love about this design is that the plastic is flexible and it's not super rigid, so if it does warp, it's already kind of got a little bit of a curvature. One complaint that I had about the Daydont kind of stick-on porch style ones is that they warped and I had to use all sorts of duct tape and all this craziness to get it to use. So this one, instead of having the stick-up, flap-up type, which if I haven't done a video on that, I should. They're not that good. Um, this one has a pull-out screen so that the bees can come in and out as they want to. And when you want to collect the pollen, you put that back in. Of course, on the side, we have the drone escapes, which end up being a everybody escape, but you got to have them because drones are fat and they have to go out and mate with virgin queens. So on the bottom, as per normal pollen traps, you have this drawer that's ventilated in case there's moisture in there so you don't get too much mildew. And here, you have this. This is where the pollen falls through. When it drops off their corbiculae, it drops through here. Now, I like how soft Pliable isn't the right word, but flexible everything is. And it fits all together really nicely, really smoothly. The other traps, like I said, that I ordered, they were too rigid, and it made them difficult to use. These, you can tell there's a lot of thought put into them, and I appreciate that. Okay, so let's go to the next thing. Uh, I started unpacking it, and I got too excited, so I just stopped. Okay. So this looks like a bottom board to me. Let's see. Whoa, moving parts. See what I mean? This isn't your typical thing that you'd see in a Langstroth style hive. These have all sorts of things. So this, I, I'm learning, so bear with me. Ah. So this pulls out. Now I'm doing this completely without instructions. All I've done is review the website and uh, what sort of things they have on the website. So here is some arrows pointing both ways. Okay? I'm not really sure what that means. Perhaps there are instructions in this box as well. There's stuff in there. What is it? I want it. Ah, another drawer. Let's pull it. Ooh, what is this? I would just like to point out that my dad is in the room. He's being very quiet. He's probably never seen me make one of these videos. What is this? What is it? <gasps> it's an entrance reducer! Da -na -na -na. That's what it is, isn't it? Does it say anything on there? It has a patent number. I bet it's an entrance reducer. Because these you can open, more entrances. Hey, hey, this, 
for warm weather when you want to restrict who comes in and out. That's amazing. Okay, so then this does what? This this goes somewhere. I don't know. Okay, so that goes there. So notice how. Uh, well, I was gonna say notice how everything fits together really well. Ah! That was a little snug. <laughs> so, um, so anyways. This is what it looks like. I'm not really sure what to do with it yet. We'll get back to that. So we'll put these, I'll put these back in here. It's a good storage place. Okay. My dad's making a lot of faces. I know. He's got things to say. No? Nothing? Okay, I'm just gonna put this down before I squish my finger again. I'm sorry? It's new. It's new? Now, this thing is a thing. Um, it's not a queen. Hmm. Well, I don't want to make any assumptions, but it can't be the the filter. What what is the word I'm trying to think of? Not a queen reducer. You know. Um, so you keep the. Wow, I'm completely forgetting. Where the queen, you keep her on one side because she's too fat to go through the bars. It's too skinny for even normal bees to fit through. This must be something else. Maybe this is for um, the bottom to catch varroa mites. You can see it's got all these specialized places. So whatever it is, there's no way for me to mix up where it goes once I know where it goes. So, next piece. Whoa. Maybe like this is like outer space Christmas. I don't even know what this stuff is. Ooh, I bet I know what this is. Hmm. Frames. Made of plastic. Now, lucky for me, I got all of these things sent to me for free. Shh, don't tell anyone. I doubt you'll be able to do the same. But Everything comes assembled, which is awesome. When I buy my uh, hives, I typically order them unassembled so that I can save money and paint them whatever color I want. Um, so this hive is already put together, but it does come apart very simply. I was watching someone else's videos before I made this one. Uh, but look at that. So it comes apart. You put the wax foundation inside, or do you? I don't know. Maybe with these, you don't. So I need to research that better and report back because I honestly don't know. Um, this is my first time ever seeing one. I've only seen Turkish beehives on the interwebs. So that's a frame. That's another frame. Maybe these are just extras that he sent me. Cool. But here's a special frame. What is it? Is it for comb honey? Is it just a blank? Does some magical thing go in here? What do you think, Dad? I have no idea. It says Langstroth on it. I thought this was the date on hive. Maybe this is extra. I don't know. There's just so many things in here. And then there's this. Um, maybe it's to move a hive, you put this there so no one can get out, but there's still ventilation. Not sure. That's what I think. Looks like it belongs in a Lego land, but whatever. Okay. So we'll put this over here. Ooh. This must be a feeder because it says the word syrup on it. S-U-R-U-P. I think that means syrup. So, yes, I do believe this is a feeder. And... Ah, yes it is. Now I remember some other guy's video. I apologize, I don't remember what his name is. But I'll look it up and give him some props later. Um, so, how it works is that, let me just show you that I'm not crazy. It does say syrup, 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 whatever. Okay, so let me show you. I'm not doing a very good job of showing you. So here's the normal thing. The bees, let me show you this. The girls can climb up this part right here. If you can see that, I'm not sure. Um, but it's like a little ladder. And then you put these here. So if you want them to be able to come up, 
then you put it like this, I believe. Yes, because then they can access the syrup this way. If you don't want them to, then you close the ladder. Seat's taken, can't come in. Okay, simple enough. Cool. And then this goes on the top. So it doesn't hold that much syrup, but what I like is there's limited access to the syrup so that you don't get tons of drowning. Remember I had those black uh, frame style feeders where it's just like this trough of doom if you fall in. Yeah, the side has lines on it, but good luck getting out because you're in syrup and you're a bee. You know what I'm saying? So this one, uh, it, it probably reduces the amount of deaths, but it is shallow. So you will have to repeat this uh, pretty often. Um, you might be able to use fondant, maybe, though I'm not entirely sure how that works. So again, this is uh, exploration for me as well. So once I find out more about this stuff, I'll report back. I'm just going to go through what I've got so far as I've got it. Okay, so that's the end of box number one. Okay. So now, here's the actual hive. I believe this is the data on hive. Let's see. It says data on oh, well, it's either one. I don't know which one. It says both on the box. But wait till you see this, if I can get it out. Because it's all put together. Uh, maybe I should dump it out. Maybe my dad will come help me. Daddy. Introducing! <laughs> it's quite heavy. Maybe I'll hold the box in my feet. Should we just cut the box? No. I could just cut the bottom and then we could retake it if we wanted. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I was pushing. <laughs> okay. Wow. It's like futuristic. Oh. <laughs> okay. This. Oh. This is eh, the date on it. says it on the back. Okay, let me move the camera so you can see this bad boy. Actually, I'm going to start another video.